This is a step-by-step -step video of how to make a 100% spelt sourdough high hydration loaf. We're going to start with 500 grams of organic spelt flour. Next, we add 10 grams of salt. Mix the salt and flour together. We're making an 80% hydration loaf, so we'll need 400 milliliters of water. And uh, sorry about the terrible camera angle. We add the water to the flour and salt mixture and then we add the starter. Now use a wooden spoon to mix everything together. At this point we're not trying to work the dough, we're just mixing everything together. I'm adding some olive oil around the edge of the bowl. I want the olive oil to surround my dough and uh, I'll shake it a bit to make sure the olive oil gets all over the side of the bowl. After letting the dough rest for 10 minutes, it's time to fold the dough. I grab the dough from underneath with my wet hands and separate it from the edge of the bowl and fold it underneath itself. I turn the bowl and repeat this process. By folding the edge of the dough under itself, a surface tension is created in the dough and it starts to form the gluten matrix. I repeat this process at 20 minute intervals three times. As you can see, the dough is starting to look very smooth and is holding together more. This is exactly what we want. Air bubbles are starting to form in the dough as the fermentation process releases carbon dioxide.
I've added some rice flour to my work area and now I'm going to do a final fold in the bowl. This time I'm going to place the dough on my work surface and let it rest there for about 15 minutes. While I'm waiting, I'll get my form basket ready. If you don't have a basket, don't worry, you can use a regular bowl and line it with a kitchen towel and sprinkle some rice flour on it. And now it's time for the final shaping of the loaf. First, I flip the bread. Next, I pull the edges to the center. And then finally, I fold the bread repeatedly. There are many different ways to do this, but this way works for me. I'll be honest, this takes a bit of practice. I place my shaped loaf into my basket and then I'll let it proof for two hours. I've preheated my oven to about 230 degrees Celsius with a cast iron pot inside it. A regular oven pot will work as well. I place my loaf into the pot, then cut the loaf with a razor blade across the top the length of the loaf. Finally, I replace the lid and put the whole thing back in the oven. And there it is. The bread looks great and it sounds hollow, which is exactly what we want. Now it needs to cool for at least an hour. Personally, I let it sit overnight. The next morning, someone has already cut open the loaf. I'm not sure who it was, but I suspect my wife. As you can see, the crumb is nice and even and the bread looks great. Only one thing remains. Slice the bread and enjoy. I hope you found this video helpful. That's it from me and happy baking.